Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Android Tutorial Part 6. In this video, we are going to see the one of the application component in detail. We already seen the application component activities and services in detail in my previous video. In this video, we are going to see the broadcast receiver in detail. First of all, we need to know what is broadcast receiver. Broadcast receiver simply responds to broadcast messages from other applications or from the system itself. These messages are sometimes called the events or intents. Applications can also initiate the broadcast to let other applications know that some data has been downloaded to the device and it is available for them to use. So this is the broadcast receiver who will intercept this communication and will initiate the appropriate action. There are following two important steps. To make broadcast receiver work for system broadcaster intent, they are creating the broadcast receiver and then registering the broadcast receiver. Let me see detail in both these steps. Uh, before this, there is one additional step in case you are going to implement your custom intents, then you'll, you will have to create and broadcast those intents also. Uh, next we move on how to create the broadcast receiver so the broadcast receiver is implemented as a subclass broadcast receiver class so the my receiver is the class name that is extend from the subclass broadcast receiver class and it is override override the on receive method it takes two parameter the context and the intent where each messages is received as a intent object parameter and we declared a toast intent is directed this is the format for creating the broadcast receiver next how to register a broadcast receiver an application listens for a specific broadcast intents by registering a broadcast receiver in android manifest.xml we already seen in my previous video what is android manifest.xml it gives the complete description of the app and all other activities and all the receiver activities services content provider all included in this manifest file here the broadcast receiver that is a receiver tag is written between the application tag consider we are going to register my receiver for a system generated event that is action boot completed which is fired by the system once the android system has completed the boot process now whenever your android device gets booted it will be intercepted by a broadcast receiver my receiver and implemented logic inside on on receive method that is written in the creating broadcast receiver format will be executed next we move on few important system events so these are the several system generated events defined as final static fields in the intent class so these event co constants are android dot intent dot action dot battery changed and battery low and battery ok boot completed bug report call call button date changed and reboot so the event constant android dot intent dot action dot battery changed is a sticky broadcast containing the charging state level and other informations about the battery the next the android dot intent dot action dot battery low it indicates the low battery condition on the device 
next android dot intent dot action dot battery ok it indicates the battery is now ok after being low next android dot intent dot action dot boot completed so these even constant this is broadcasted only once after the system has finished booting next android dot intent dot action dot bug report it shows activity for reporting a bug next android dot intent dot action dot call this receiver is responsible to perform a call to someone specified by the data next android dot intent dot action dot call button so this is used for press the user press the call button to go to the dialer or other appropriate user interface for placing a call next the even constant android dot intent dot action dot date change is to change the date next the even constant android dot intent dot action dot reboot this receiver responsible to reboot the device next we move on how to broadcast a custom intents if you want your application itself should generate and send a custom intents then you will have to create and send those intent by using the send broadcast method inside your activity class if we use the send sticky broadcast intent method the intent is sticky meaning that the intent you are sending stays around after the broadcast is complete so in this example the custom intent i am created is com.mytutorial.customintent it is created by using this send broadcast method we also create by using send sticky broadcast it is used for the intent is sticky next you need to register this custom events so the intent com dot my tutorial dot custom intent can also be registered in a similar way as we have registered the system generated intent in the android dot manifest dot xml it is registered between this receiver tag as shown in the slide next we move on the example program for broadcast receiver here we implemented a custom broadcasting here the custom broadcast event is implemented by a function broadcast intent in main activity dot java in which i create a created a custom intent com dot my tutorial dot custom intent and send broadcast this intent next we are going to see the my receiver class it is a broadcast receiver class is used to receive the broadcast message that is broadcasted in the main activity dot java file it is received by your on receive override method that takes a parameter intent to receive a message then it print a toast message as intent directed in receiver class next android manifest.xml it is a manifest file for custom broadcast receiver you need to register your my receiver class in this manifest file by using a receiver tag uh, next we move on the activity main.xml so it is a design file in which it contains a linear layout and a button um, in a button there is attribute called android.onclick uh, here we define the function broadcast intent so the button action is given to the broadcast intent function that is declared in the main activity.java file 
that function send a broadcast message that is received by a my receiver class then the my receiver class prints a toast message as the intent directed so this is the emulator window output for a broadcast receiver when we click a broadcast intent button it print a toast message the intent is directed so in this detail we seen in detail about this broadcast receiver so i hope this tutorial may help you thank you for watching and like and subscribe my channel for more videos